What's up you wonderful people? Today we're back in BMG. You only might be wondering why. I discovered VTech. And of course, we're gonna be back in uh, the old grid map. Ah yes, I love that grid map. It's a wonderful map. We're just gonna select it to load and we're gonna get into things. Hopefully. Soon. I think. <laughs> yes. So finally we're in. So now we, we go select the vehicle that we have our VTEC on. This little thing is um, is crazy to put it into into perspective for you. This little car is stupid. And we're gonna select that chassis. That's also another mod I have that is more for your drag racing applications. That's what we're going with today to use our VTEC. This thing looks absolutely menacing. And I like it. With the air duct for an intake for a headlight. So now we go over here. I said over here game. Stop it. Scroll down, we find our VTEC. I think this is the engine. Heh, <laughs> this game was smart. No, it isn't. Uh, sorry, game, you're not smart today. To apply the changes. So, the goal for this engine is at least, and I truly mean for at least. In horsepower and in a wonderful time down our drag strip here is a seven second front wheel drive launch and well quarter mile so uh, enjoy the montage of me building this thing all right so now we're done with the uh, building of this wonderful thing I'm gonna do one test pass and to see how we are gonna go stupid fast so to speak so I'm gonna click it into gear like that and then I'm gonna make a run let's see firstly do a burnout <laughs> okay this thing is uh... <laughs> it does backwards wheelies. That's how you know it, how much power this thing has. So I'm just gonna test a few things and then let's go. So it ate the clutch from first gear to last gear. So that means less boost, unfortunately. Or an automatic. Let's see if I have an automatic space. I do not think so. Let's go transmission. So they do have an automatic. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna do another test pass and let's see if this automatic works better. Yep, the automatic works better. <laughs> so let's do our test pass to see how fast we can go. That let's do pro three. Let's go. And I have the option to do more boost if needed. That's a nice thing with the auto, it doesn't have a clutch that's slipping constantly. Mucho better for mucho drag racing. Let's 
screw that. Lick it into gear. That's a good start, 870 at 189. Oh, that's a good start. So now we add more boost. That's literally as simple as going here, then doing that. I said doing that. Going way down here. So let's up the boost in first, second. Third and fourth. Over 212 PSI of boost. Holy cow. That's a lot. Oh. It does backwards wheelies. When I'm done with this, this run, I'm going to do a backwards wheelie for as long as I can. That's better. I think the differential needs adjusting. We do that. Go back here again. We do that again. Seems like I have to do my tire pressure a bit lower. It's starting to look that way. Oh, increase the grip. Oh, I have grip functions. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so fun. I think. Do that. Let's click it into gear. Do a burnout first. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot faster and our engine blew up. Hey, what do? I'm gonna do that again. We are so freaking close. I'm gonna add nitros. a little bit there we go that's an 8 watt okay, so we're getting a little slower at 200 freaking miles an hour hmm. so our turbo apparently keeps overheating so I think we need to do some modifying. I don't think the turbo gets any cooling that is efficient. So I'm going to change the radiator because it does have cooling lines going to it. So I just have to find the radiator. So we handy dandy search bar. Rad. There we go. So let's install a modifiable one. That's a big slick. 10 inch slick, that's a wide slick. So now we can go change the parameters of said radiator. I say change the parameters of said radiator. Ah, English hard to speak sometimes. Hopefully it's in here. Or I need to go select it to be in there. I'm a dummy sometimes. I just look there. Yeah, it's fine. It's supposed to keep the vehicle cool, so hopefully it does it. Come on. 
There we go. It blew the freaking engine again. What radiator must I use then? But that's just how it goes sometimes. Fine, 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 fine. We'll select in that radiator. I think it's the one that I had, not too sure. Line it up again. That. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is painful. We are so freaking close. You know what? I don't care anymore. So, we're gonna add more boost. I'm just gonna ram that boost slider way up with our traction aid installed. You might be wondering what the traction aid? What traction aid? You might ask. Well, you see on the tire slider here we have a friction. A friction is the contact patch on the road. So I'm gonna increase it as high as possible. So hopefully it stops spinning. That's gonna work a lot better. Just a little bit, there we go. Oh, this is a lot better. Yes! We are in our freaking number. 76 at 180 miles an hour with the engine blowing up. <laughs> It might DQ and F us. Oh, that's bad. That is fine. We got our number. So now I'm gonna do a salvatory, celebratory, backwards wheelie. In a saints. We do this, we take it over here, and. and absolutely break everything. If you uh, liked today's video, please do consider to like, comment, share and subscribe because it really helps me out. Anyways guys, that's gonna be all for me today. We accomplished our goal and I'm really happy. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys!